I, so I watched, I watched three movies today, and I'm going to review them now. I watched uh, Alvin and the Chipmunks meet Frankenstein. Alvin and the Chipmunks meet the Wolfman. And uh, the Great Chipmunk Adventure, or the Chipmunk Adventure, whatever. And, uh, okay, so my review of them. I'll start with the first one I watched, which was Alvin and Chipmunks Meet Frankenstein. Uh, not very good. It's not a bad movie. It's just, it's not very good. There's nothing really about it stands out. Uh, you know, it's just like, it exists. I really can't say there's anything memorable or anything really bad about it, though. Uh, I guess, you know, I, I wouldn't recommend it. it. There's nothing, it just exists. Now, Alvin the Chipmunks Meet the Wolfman. This one was good. I enjoyed this one. Lots of, lots of good character moments from, uh, you know, Theodore. And of course, okay, here's actually one problem you could say. Alvin and Chipmunks Meet Frankenstein does not have chipettes in it. Whereas Alvin and Chipmunks Meet Wolfman does have the chipettes in it. So by having them there as a foil to the chipmunks, as something to play off of, you know, that it gives some extra, extra stuff to it. So the Meets the Wolfman was, was better. I, I would say this was, a, this was a fun movie. It was good. This is Good songs like the, uh, the one. Uh, okay, so the plot of the movie is uh, you get this next door neighbor, and then it turns out he's a werewolf, and he bites Theodore, so Theodore turns into a werewolf. So there's this one good song when Theodore is turning into a werewolf, and you know that was good. And then I think there's also like they're doing a play of Dr. Gecko and Mr. Hyde, and it's got it's got good stuff. It's got good character stuff for Theodore, and uh, you know it's about him wanting to pork the uh, the fat chip at. So Alvin and Chipmunks meet the Wolfman. Good, I would recommend it. And then finally, I did Chipmunk Adventure. Yeah, yeah, it's Chipmunk Adventure. I said, this was a good one. And also, this, this one has really good animation. I've heard part of why it has really good animation is, um, is like a bunch of, you know, like ex-Disney animators just happen to like be. Oh, speaking of which, there's a, you know, if it's ex-Disney animators and these guys are fucking perverts. Like, here, look at this. There's a lot, a lot of panty shots in this movie. Nearly every scene of the chipettes. Like, look, here, here's one I, I noticed. Then it got to so many, I just stopped taking you know, screenshots of it, like here. Boom, panty shot. Tons of them. Like, uh, my goodness, when, when they're doing, you know, the dueling song, you know, the guys rock and roll, girls rock and roll, like holy cannoli. Oh boy. Panty shot galore. Anyways, it's a good movie. It's a really good one. Yeah, again, it's got some good songs, like, you know, uh, the dueling song, um, Wooly Bully, that's a fun one, when they're being tortured by the native people. But one thing in it, like, the human animation, like, the humans are fucking creepy looking in it. These are like, I don't know, they're off-putting, but it's good. It's good. I like it. So I would say Chipmunk Adventure and Chipmunks Meet the Wolfman, good movies. Uh, yes, that sounds right. Left, left. Ooh, ooh. We're putting it down. All right, so yeah, that's uh, that's what I thought of those three chipmunk movies. Those are the only chipmunk movies worth watching. No, I've never watched the live action ones, but I I just they, I just can't imagine them being good. All right.